Hills, here our new show. So, are you ready for tomorrow? Um, as ready, ready as I can be. As, as ready, ready as, as I can, as I can be. be too. So, Muslim families serve a variety of food during Eid celebrations, like the whole table is not never going to be enough to That's put right. all the dishes, right? Um, are you afraid of those cholesterol intakes tomorrow? Of course. Tomorrow? <laughs> of course. So we had that, you know, um, quite a good 30 days of Ramadan fasting. Yeah. We cannot ruin it just by one or two days <laughs> during Eid. So as we tend to overeat mm. during the event, it's yep. important to exercise control. One of the way to do this is by practicing mindful eating. Mm -hmm. So, mindful eating involves using all of our physical and emotional senses to experience and enjoy our food choices. Don't forget to enjoy it, right? So, the approach allows one to sample a variety of foods without overeating. It also helps one develop gratitude for food and improve the overall dining experience. Wow. So, it's not about eating less or it's not about eating you cannot eat whatever is good mm -hmm. but it's about eating mindfully yeah so just have okay. a little taste of everything a little taste of everything <laughs> will it will become like a, a big chunk of things <laughs> That's but, right. yeah. now to learn more about the topic we yeah. have now alia hashim Me? a certified nutritionist <laughs> joining us in the studio hi alia hi, hi. welcome hi, alia. That's right. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go right into it. Mm -hmm. Can you explain what mindful eating is and its impact on the body? Yes. So mindful eating, let's start with the definition of it. So my, being mindful is actually really literally mindful. Um, you have to know what is on your, your, on your plate, yeah. right? So once you're really mindful, you understand a lot of things about your body. It's mm. psychological mm. that leads to biological. Right? Mm. So, so many good impacts for you. So, whenever you know what is on your plate, yep. you're already leading to awareness, right? That is already being mindful too. So you already know, okay, I'm eating, for example, like a dish, there's all the macronutrients in it. Mm -hmm. There's the protein, there's the carbs, there's the fiber, which is vegetables, and then there's the healthy fats, yeah. right? Yeah. And then, so once you know all this, you're like, okay, I'm acknowledging the food, I'm so grateful for this. All right, it's time for me to eat now. Slowly. Mindful. Slowly. Yes. That's okay. Exactly. So, I don't know, maybe we can relate to this. Before learning nutrition, mm. I wasn't mindful with what I was eating. Ah. Mm. I was really just like, okay, there's food, I'm just going to eat it. And I don't know my hunger cues, I just ate and ate and ate. I barely even chewed. But with mindful eating, yeah. we chew first five to eight times before you swallow. The benefits is amazing. Right. So, in nutrition, so whenever you chew, mm -hmm. you're actually cutting the food with your teeth, right? right. Mm -hmm. So then a lot of the nutrients come out of the food, mm -hmm. and then so we can absorb it easily. Mm -hmm. So it's so more so you can nourish your, your body with that. It's so beautiful how mindful eating is. It's not just like a buzzword, oh, mindful eating, that's it. Because we <laughs> see that a lot, a buzzword. Yeah. right? A buzzword. So that's why it's so beneficial for your body biologically and also for the mind. Hmm. Especially right. when you're eating meatballs, do not swallow it just as it is. <laughs> oh. Possibly. You have to eat slowly. You have That's to eat slowly. Key. But I have I have a problem, Alia. During eat celebration, especially on the first and second day, it's like a marathon of visiting relatives. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. yeah. And you cannot not eat open when house, you visit. Open house, open, open house, house everywhere. Open, yeah. house, open house in a day. <laughs> How could you manage your mindful eating during this whole day of eating day? Yeah. So mindful eating is actually something we need to practice. Mm. Like, I wish mindful eating was actually taught in schools, yeah. right? Oh, we wish so. Right? Because the thing in schools, um, we're taught academia. So science, mm. social studies but and everything. Science too. It is science too. But then, how about the basics of life? For example, okay, out of nutrition, we're not taught how to actually eat food. Like, yeah. okay, we have to uh, chew a lot how first, times. how many times, and then now, and then after that, you just swallow, yeah. right? Yeah. So then, with that practice is amazing. It leads to also portion control, mm -hmm. leading to your question. So how do we actually control it, yep. right? We, we practice mindful eating, and then we know also the portioning for our bodies. But then again, every human beings are yep. different. There's no one size right. fits all diet. Mm -hmm. So then we have to understand first, okay, for our bodies, which one is good for? for each right. and mm -hmm. uh, different individuals. So that goes also for the drinks. Oh, 100%. Because, yes. Yeah, because yes. every eat is always hot, right? Sweet. 
Yeah, oh, chendol, sweet. coffee, like the, the, the yeah. sweet coffee or everything. So um, what happens if we don't follow that mindful eating order? Well, it, it depends, right? The thing is, okay, um, if we don't have mindful eating, mm -hmm. we, it can lead to so many things like overeating. And what yeah. happens when we overeat? Gain weight. Yeah. We get bloated. We are bloated. Yeah. So many. Well, for women, it can be hormonal. Also, there's so many yeah, things, true. right? Uh, for him. But then, as simple as over uh, overeating, gaining weight, yeah. and that leads to so many things. Like I said in the beginning, once we know what's on the plate, the macronutrients, mm -hmm. the protein, mm -hmm. the fats, the the um, carbs, yeah. the vegetables, it's so good because we're like, okay, this is a balanced diet, right? But imagine if we're eating, for example, mac and cheese, mm. or the kopi, susu, right? Exactly. Or <laughs> the chendol. Drinking, really drinking it doesn't feel like it. Exactly. But it's high calorie. Mm, true. And, and, and it's mostly fats, right? And those unhealthy fats can lead to, I don't want to scare anyone, but it's true. Like stroke, yeah. or mm. so many other yeah. sicknesses. The creamer, the sugar, the, yeah. the oh. essence, everything. It's a lot. All of it. Oh, yeah, God. It's a lot. All right, so I hope I'm ready. <laughs> So we know the impact on the body when we're doing mindful eating and we also know the consequences of mindless eating. Yes. But um, how can mindfulness help us appreciate the flavors and textures of food? How does that work? Oh, okay. The, so it's like, how do we enjoy? Yeah. How can we enjoy the foods and the textures and everything? So we were just talking about mindful eating and how it's psychological and then it leads to biological. Yeah. But this part, I can call it the art side of it. All oh. right. The art side of it. So, for example, why do fine dining Michelin restaurant stars mm. exist? Why? Why? Because it's a smaller portion oh. for each two. And, yeah, one. And okay. It looks beautiful and it's got a, I don't know, it's got a little bit Exactly. Of beautiful is the experience. Experience. Mm. Right? Yeah. So, with that, since we're so grateful, we, the gratitude is the foundation, right? For that, you see the art behind it. Mm. So, for example, starting tomorrow, mm. you might go to your mom's place or yeah. or your your grandma's place, and they're the ones who cook. You are so grateful for it, and you chew more into it, and you think about, wow, my mom or my it's grandma made this. <laughs> right? yeah. but they so made much this. love into it, they right? They put so much love into it. It's not yeah. just like, I'm just going to cook. No, but yeah. they put so much love into yeah. it because they know they're going to feed their loved family, ones. Yeah. their loved ones. Yeah, maybe one tip is, why don't you cook? Because when you cook, you get so stuffy. You don't want to eat because yeah. you've been trying and yeah, everything exactly. you have. Yeah. Tasting it and everything. Yeah. Make sure it tastes good for exactly. our family. That's like a really good thing though, right? Yeah. As long as we just eat mindfully, yeah. it's like we have to have a really good relationship with food. Mm. And it doesn't mean that we have to be fully healthy. Mm. It's the 80-20 rule where it's like 80%. 80, 20. Mm. Exactly. 80% of the time you eat the whole foods, 20% mm. of the time you eat whatever you like. Oh, wow. Oh. Exactly. Oh, I thought it's the 80-20 meaning like you have to stop at 80% of your that fullness. That also, the hunger cue. Yeah. Too. That is, it's always the 80, oh, right? Mm, okay. It's 80%. Once, you've, uh, once you eat mindfully, you can also know the hunger cues where it's like, oh, I'm actually full and then turns out I don't need to eat that much. Okay, Sometimes I just realized that... I just that, don't listen to my hunger I, cues. I just realized that... Maybe you're not day. eating slower. That's the ah, thing. Yeah. Okay. You know how Ramadan is quite challenging <laughs> because you have to, you know, try to put down all your thirst and hunger. Eat day is even harder than that <laughs> because the food are all in front of you. <laughs> okay, so many consider eat dishes are a reward mm. for the month of Ramadan yeah. fasting. Mm -hmm. So how can we control ourselves? This is the question that relates to my... Yeah. <laughs> It's like, okay, people say it's a reward, but I feel like I can fairly say and blame this on society, how society is set, all right? Mm. Have you ever heard about like, okay, um, you're on, not, sorry? It's not lebaran, it's lebaran. <laughs> lebaran. Yeah, <laughs> lebaran. <laughs> it's like when you're on holiday, mm. right? Yeah. And whenever we work out on holiday, there's a lot of people that says, why are you working out? It's yeah. a holiday, Yeah. right? Or it's like, why are you, why are you, eating so well, you're on a holiday. Yeah. Mm. No. Cheat day, should be cheat day. Cheat day, no. Cheat day. Once you <laughs> actually practice mindful eating mm. and portioning and all that, it's not considered a reward. It's not considered, it's just a lifestyle. It's just any other day. Yeah. It's just yeah. any other day. Mm. But actually, it's a celebration tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not a reward. It's not like, oh, I fasted, I didn't eat, now yeah. it's time for me to eat everything and 
until I get yeah. those stuff. No. Excuse me, it's also Revenge. a freebie tomorrow. Freebie! <laughs> <laughs> Everything is just for free. Exactly. Yeah. Eat whatever you want. Yeah. It's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's a celebration yeah. and yeah. it's not... We have to have a really nice relationship with food. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. Don't restrict yourself. Okay. Just in moderation. That is the key. In moderation. In moderation. So yes. eat less, slow. slow. Sorry, and not and eat less, less. slow <laughs> in moderation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So eat dishes in Indonesia include opor ayam, ketupat, rendang, oh. sambal goreng, oh. and more. So can we make or adjust so this food to be healthier and more balanced for eat? If so, how? Okay. Please give us tips. Of course, of course. So if you want to replace it, yes, you can. As in, like, you can substitute, but why? Oh. Why? Like I said before, we have to have a good relationship with food. And as long as we're applying the 80-20 rule, as long as we're eating mindfully, and as long as we're eating in moderation, mm -hmm. we can just eat and yeah. celebrate. Yeah. We don't need to, to change it. Yes, we can. For example, if you don't want um, ketupat, because ketupat is, is, is rice, right? Yeah, rice cake. Rice. You can change it to brown rice or something, but for what? Mm. We're celebrating, we're loving yeah, this true time. True that, yeah. right? Make yourself, you know, yeah. tired making your own, right? Exactly. We love our, our mom's food. We love our grandma's food, yeah. right? We don't need to change it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now um, if we want to do our, or practice this mindful eating during eat especially, are there any types of food that we need to avoid? No. As simple oh. as that. No food. No. Nothing to avoid. To avoid. No. It's as, just a portion. It's just the portion. It's just moderation again and again. Because once you eat in moderation, you'll be fine. Once you're mindful and you what you know what you're consuming, you'll be fine. You know that typical question during aid is, is yeah, when are you getting married? <laughs> why, are you, why are you looking a little bit fatter than before? <laughs> then you'll stop eating. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, we'll still continue our talk with Alia. So for the next See the Ramadan Stories, we'll continue after the break. Don't go anywhere. Mindful eating is going to be next in the show. Stay tuned.